Do you want to know how to make this cool and popular transition in Filmora 12? You're in the right place. What's up guys? Welcome back to the Filmstock channel. My name is Luca. Today we're exploring this new feature from Filmora 12, which is the ability of creating custom masks with a pen. With this feature, we can create custom masks in our video and mask our object however we like, but also create masks and create transitions any way we want. Let's get into it. Before we start, do not forget to like, turn on the bell and subscribe to our channel because we do tutorials every single week about Filmora 12, so you don't wanna miss them. Let's get into the video. So first thing first, you have to shoot accordingly. To create this mask effect, you have to make sure that you are panning behind an object that will cover the frame entirely. Do not just pan behind something that doesn't cover your frame entirely because the, this, this is just not gonna work. Another method that you can use is having a still camera, a still shot, and having someone passing by to cover the entirety of the frame. I always recommend to have whatever object or person or whatever is covering your frame to be out of focus just because it's gonna look a bit better in the final effect. For this example, I shot a little shot in the garden of my house. As you can see, the shot goes behind this tree and then we're gonna relieve this beautiful still shot of Nung Nung waterfall, which is my favorite waterfall in Bali. All right, let's get into Filmora 12. Let's import our footage and align it first. Make sure that the first shot is one layer above the second shot. And let's make a cut exactly one frame after the whole frame is covered by the object. Then let's go back to where the object, in this case the tree, appeared and let's set that as the first frame for the second clip. And we are set. Now all you're gonna do is pretty much mask out from the start of where the tree appears to the end. And to do this we are gonna go up here into the inspector then hop into the mask tab and select the pen and create a mask on the outside of the actual frame. To zoom out, just hold command and scroll back with two fingers on Mac. Now, we created the mask. We wanna go ahead one frame where the tree starts to cover the frame and move the mask accordingly. You wanna do this frame by frame until the tree has covered the whole image and you can see the second shot. Once this is all done, make sure it runs smooth. As always, click enter to render our sequence and play it back smoothly. The only thing that we miss is add a bit of blur to really sell the effect. Just bring up the blur strength slider until the blur matches the bokeh created by the tree. And you're done. You can try this effect in so many ways, so just try and get creative. One of my favorite ones is this one just because it looks nice, smooth, and it doesn't look too fake. But you can, you can just play around with it and see where it takes you. As always, thanks so much for sticking around until the end, guys. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.